20 years ago when we started making the first combi lift forklift truck, I don't think any of us ever thought it would get to the scale it is, it is at the moment. The first customer, Simon Nodovic, when he ordered his combi lift forklift truck, we had never produced one. He actually ordered it from a 2D drawing, just a sketch of what it would actually look like. I don't think we ever told him at that time it wasn't made, but that was all he had to see at that time. Our county depends on the people like Martin McVicker and Robert Moffat. Two men, as you heard, had an idea 20 years ago to invent the world's first internal combustion engine-powered all-wheel drive multi-directional forklift. It <laughs> And I have to say, I'm delighted to, to be standing here today on home soil for the official opening of Combilift's new global headquarters and manufacturing uh, facility. The factory, the engineering is at the centre of our, of our production area, you know, typically 300 metres to the left or to the right. This is our uh, assembly lines and this is our welding and cutting areas. So you don't use welding robots at all? No robots. Our product is so special. You can ask me for a machine a metre higher, a metre wider, and we'll do it. And that's very unique. You see it across all our forklift range as well. Longer platforms, wider platforms, taller mass. We don't limit ourselves by, by something we consider a small change. Other manufacturers would struggle to deal with it because their plants are so automated. Our new factory are 90 metres in length. We added more stations, which increased the increase of productivity. If you look at our line on the left-hand side, you can see our kits and product being fed in from our main stores. On the right-hand side is our can bus. Can bus is our replenished stock, our nuts, bolts, our hoses. All our standard parts are constantly there for the for the, for the people in assembly. On the left-hand side, you can see the parts being fed in: the motors, the wheels, the axles, the parts that are added to each machine. Each machine has a unique identity. Serial number is added from once it's placed as an order. The machine will not go onto the assembly line unless all the parts are in stock. on the line it's in the park and ready for that machine. When you see the, the engine, the engine comes on a special frame, a special uh, trolley. On that trolley you can see the bell housing, the engine, the fans, the pumps, everything that's needed to build that engine for that customer. Everything is just in time. The material arrives here just in time for this man to assemble and the engines are shoved over to the assembly line just in time for the next one. a significant investment in the bin but we also have made a significant investment in our ERP system and um, the thrives can't be lift. Um, so in each work centre in the, the well bay, the paint lines production, all the sub assembly lines in main stores, each work centre has a tablet. So on this tablet it tells in play what they have to do and when they have to have it done by and what all requires for that truck. We're very much in designing 
customise products to save our customers warehouse space and handle product more safely. And if you look at many of the new products that, that we are producing today, a lot of that innovation has not came directly from our engineers or us in our, in our own factory. It has came from feedback from our customers as to what they see, their handling problems, their challenges, and that gives us opportunity to develop product for the future.